Nanberry, Black Brother White by Jackie French is a factional novel where the author weaves together historical facts with a fictional storyline to create a captivating novel. This novel takes place in the first years of European settlement in Australia, describing the clash of two cultures and the consequences for both sides. The first Australians numbered 250 tribes, each with their own language and territorial boundaries, a civilization encompassing the entire continent. This is Nanberry. He is eight years old and one of the first Australians. This is his story that begins in 1788 when the first fleet arrives in Australia. Nanberry is playing in the water with his family and friends at Warren, now known as Sydney Cove. The harbour was emu very blue, the ripples playing with the sun, the breeze smelt of smoke and cooking fish. Nanberry waded in till the water tickled his waist, felt the sandy mud between his toes, then took a deep breath and dived down. Then massive canoes surged across the water. His eight years had been full of familiar things. The warriors and women knew all that was important, but no one had ever spoken of anything like this. The year is now 1789. Europeans have settled in Australia, bringing with them diseases. Smallpox has ravished the native Australians and Surgeon John White is sent to assist the natives. He finds Nanberry orphaned and alone. He breaks protocol and adopts Nanberry, raising him in his hut with his opossum and servant Maria, a convict who was sent over to Australia to complete her prison sentence. The world he knew is gone and Nanberry struggles to find his place in the new world. He has become accultured to white ways of thinking but also remembers his own cultural background. Isolated by the fact that white people genuinely don't accept him and that his own people are suspicious of him, he is effectively torn between two worlds, black and white, split yet ultimately connected without his elders to guide him. He will never be a warrior. He will never be allowed to carry a spear or marry. Will he be a boy forever?